Hey everyone, Caleb with the Antique Book Collective, and today I'm getting to you guys with some textbooks. And not just textbooks, but some tips on selling textbooks. So, guys, I know, I'm I'm the Antique Book Collective guy. What am I doing with textbooks? Well, guys, I sell those too. Uh, newsflash, I don't just sell antique books. I know some of you guys have thought that. I know the channel name might be a little bit misleading, but I try to like make it evident in as many videos as possible. I don't just sell antiques. I sell some vintage ones, and I sell some new ones, and I sell some textbooks that are new ones. So uh, with all that said, though, guys, uh, my biggest tip for selling textbooks, I mean, I have quite a few tips because I have been selling them for a few years, but my biggest tip, guys, is when you buy textbooks, list them right away. So guys, I got these textbooks. Uh, you remember that post that I did on the uh, second? I listed all these books on the third, the day after. So I got home, uh, took a couple of the books downstairs, and I listed the textbooks first thing uh, that I could. So these textbooks, guys, uh, they were in that little uh, tote with the yellow lid uh, in the post that I did, in the short sneak peek video that I did. Uh, this is, of course, not the big video I was promising, but this is just a little bit of a heads up sort of thing. I actually probably will be releasing this uh, not on schedule, probably not on Tuesday. I'll probably be dropping this maybe even today, Saturday, uh, but we'll see. But guys, um, I really wanted to share this because because I want to share it now actually because um, I sold these not even an hour after I listed them uh, just these three uh, I have a stack more over there of other textbooks that I uh, hopefully will sell by the end of the weekend we'll see uh, but the problem with textbooks guys the reason why you need to list them as soon as you can is because end of the day textbooks like this they can only be good for one year sometimes. Uh, some of them might be used for five years. Some of them might only be used for one term. That sort of thing. The problem with textbooks, guys, is if think about it as like the ultimate fad. So you guys remember silly bands. You guys remember those uh, fidget spinners. You guys remember Walkmans, all these sorts of things. They have their season. They have their time. And then they are not just not famous anymore. People like won't even buy them so many of these things like if yeah sure someone might buy these silly bands and whatnot 30 years from now because it's like oh remember that vintage toy but like for textbooks it's not that way you have to sell these tech well actually some people will buy textbook 50 years later but most of the time textbooks guys you will get the most value for them when they are actually being used in colleges some colleges they will continue using some of the older textbooks for years and years and years but the value for those textbooks it goes from like when they first come out they might be worth $200 to the next year they could be worth $5 they could be worth $3 like these books go from like insane money for you to make to absolute nothing and because of that guys you want to list these as soon as possible so with that said what do I mean by that do I mean throw them on Amazon all these sorts of things so uh, I just want to say a little bit of a disclaimer if you guys are brand new new to this business if you are doing Amazon FBA you might not want to send all of your textbooks into Amazon FBA because Amazon they actually do uh, bar you from selling some textbooks there are a lot of different things that they bar sellers from selling um they accept you with some random textbooks. They don't accept you with other random ones. I don't know the exact rules for how they choose those things. I think they smoke some crack and then choose. That's just my opinion. Uh, I don't do Amazon anymore either, so I don't know all the latest rules. That's just what my experience was. So I know of a lot of sellers that sell their books exclusively on eBay uh, for textbooks because, again, Amazon's rules are just so finicky sometimes. In addition to that, I know of a lot of sellers who do Amazon who use uh, Merchant Fulfilled instead of FBA for the textbooks because that way they can get the book listed right then and there as opposed to sending it into Amazon and having to wait for like a week or two weeks potentially which again guys you want to get these books these textbooks listed as soon as possible to make sure that they actually sell because if you don't sell them within the first week of a term first two weeks of a term or preferably a month before the term starts then you are going to probably get stuck with these books you might have to wait until the next term or you might find that that this textbook is no longer being used at all, so your book that was $70 might only be worth a dollar after that whole time. So that is something to keep an eye out for. That is a big warning. Again, people do the Merchant Fulfilled thing when they uh, sell on Amazon. They do the Merchant Fulfilled just so it pops up on the Amazon store because when you do uh, FBA, it does not pop up on the store until they get the book, till they scan it in, all that sort of thing. So that is a lot of time that you have to wait, hope, and pray that someone that wants to buy the book is going to show up by the time that you have them as opposed to if you do it on eBay or Etsy or whatever other place you, that you sell it, if you fulfill yourself and list it yourself, you can know right away that these books are available online, someone's gonna grab them. And guys, again, I believe this book I had listed for like 20 minutes before it sold, uh, and then this one was probably 40 minutes or an hour before it sold, and then this one was a couple hours later. But um, actually no, maybe just an hour and a half later. Felt like a couple hours, because I was listing all the textbooks, and guys, 
Listing textbooks is not very fun. I'm just going to be honest there. Like, for me, I'm used to selling the antique books. These antique books, guys, like, I mean, you look at these things, they got character, they got all these fun facts, they got lots of, like, cool writing in them sometimes. These are fun, at least for me. Like, I know some people hate selling them because you have to, like, look things up individually. You have to do this and this and this. It's a hundred more steps. But for me, I get a lot more fun from doing the antique books and all the other antique things that I do. That's a lot more fun for me. So, I mean, it's not just, like, just a job. It's, like, I'm exploring history. Look at this. Look at this. And guys, uh, again, I'll be going over in that. I know I did the sneak peek thing. I will be doing a longer form version of that. Hopefully. Uh, ooh, what if I did a live stream of that one? That'd be interesting. Don't know if I'll do that because now it's in the messy area. Uh, I moved all the books to the um, death pile of awesomeness um, to list. It's going to it's gonna be painful, guys. But um, maybe we'll see what I end up doing for that longer form video because I do want to show you guys a lot of the books because a lot of those books are incredibly awesome. Probably I'm going to do a whole lot of shorts also for that. But with all that said, sorry for the little aside there. Uh, back to the textbooks, guys. So besides just wanting to list them right away, um, you do want to do quite a few other things with your textbooks. Uh, for me, I like to price my textbooks at the bottom of the market. I might have one that is like new. I'm going to price it like it's good or very good. The reason for that, guys, the reason why I do my pricing like really severely lower than everyone else is I want to make sure that they sell. And uh, because I know that I'm not going to ask for top dollar for a lot of these things, I normally try to spend as low as I can. So I actually got all the textbooks that I got for free, uh, which is a little bit more affordable than a dollar each or something like that so I can afford free I hope you guys can afford free as well if you do want to get some free textbooks to uh, sell on your store or potentially just really cheap ones a lot of students at colleges will actually donate their textbooks to the college itself after their term after they are done with school so you can actually reach out to the college libraries and stuff like that ask for their uh, administrator dude for the library whatever that is and then be like hey uh, do you have any books I'm a bookseller I will buy books off of you can you just let me uh, check them out can you show me them that sort of thing and that can be a great way to get a lot of these books a lot of colleges will throw out textbooks as well you can reach out to the folks that deal with that uh, I got these from a college uh, that's the reason why I mention it but um with all that said though guys there are a lot of textbooks that you can get I recommend listing them right away you guys don't have to price like me I like to price at the bottom I like to oftentimes undercut everyone so for instance this book here um, there were people I want to say selling this thing for like 50 bucks and I was asking five dollars because there were a couple people asking for five dollars and I was like well if someone's asking for five then I don't know for sure if it will sell for 50 so I decided I'm going to try it and uh, I also I believe this one I did have eBay sold comps for like five dollars ten dollars fifteen dollars stuff like that so I did want to make sure that this one sold I don't like sitting on textbooks and I know this one looks so pretty on camera but if you look a little closer, it does have the wrinkled top. It looks like someone dropped it or something. So this one is not in perfect condition, um, but it's fine enough. The person was happy to get it for five bucks plus shipping. Um, all these prices that I throw out, guys, are plus shipping. I don't, I don't uh, provide free shipping because oftentimes when I have in the past, someone's like, "Oh, hey, I see f shipping's free. Uh, it says media mail, but I need it tomorrow. So can you one day?" And I'll be like, "No," and they'll be like, "But I, but, but you said free shipping." I'm like free shipping for media I'm not paying 50 bucks to get this to you in one day my dude like you can give me 50 bucks and I'll do it then but I'm not doing that so that's my experience with free shipping that's why I don't fiddle with that but um with that said um this one here uh wasn't worth a whole bunch uh let's see sports medicine it was worth 30 bucks is what I listed it for I think some people were selling it for like 70 bucks so yeah I undercut here as well but again um not by a whole lot. Uh, I was close to the lower end people, so that's what I went for on that one. Uh, this next one, psychiatric stuff, uh, list for 50 bucks. I think there were some people selling this one for a whole lot more than that. Uh, one of the textbooks I listed, guys, people were asking for over $200. Someone was asking almost $300. I think it was like $295 or something. I think I ended up listing it for 50 so um, that is sort of my uh, evil uh, strategy for listing some of these books. I know so many other resellers are going to be like, oh no, you're the devil, you do the race to the bottom sort of thing, ah, you're so terrible, but at the end of the day, guys, I'm not here to sit on a book uh, if I get it for free. I'm not going to sit on it forever. I'm going to try to move it as quickly as I can because, especially when it's a textbook, it takes up a lot of space, and end of the day, also... I paid nothing for it, so I don't have to make my normal multiple on my money, which I normally like to make. I don't need to make 10 times. I don't need to make 20 times, 30 times, 50 times. I paid nothing, so I can I can charge a whole lot less. I know that the one book that I said I did five bucks for, uh, 
yeah, I, I don't like selling them that cheap whatsoever. That one, uh, wh I accidentally, I guess, threw it into the pile. And yes, I know I could have thrown it away instead of listing it, but I had already taken the picture to put it in most of the work. So I was like, okay, I'll just list it. Quick listing. Who cares? Let's see if it sells. So that one is an exception to the rule. But normally I try to do at least 25 bucks per uh, book that I sell. Reason for that, I've gone over in other videos. You guys can check that video out on my channel. Uh, the reason why I don't sell books for less than like, 25 bucks is one, $15 is the other uh, price point that I don't like doing. Like if it's below 15, I like 99.9% .9 of the time will pass. Again, I went over that in another video. I recommend checking that out if you guys do that. Um, I had one person comment and be like, oh, you're just complaining, but there's business stuff in there too. It's not just complaining. <laughs> If you don't like it, stop watching it, you know? If you guys made it this far, yeah, I hope you don't hate me. But uh, with all that said, though, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Um, I know that it might cause some drama. If you guys do hate me for uh, doing the whole race to the bottom, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't normally do the race to the bottom, except for when I'm really, really trying to move inventory. By and large, I will price myself in the middle of the herd, higher end of the herd, top of the herd, depending on the book that I have, depending on the rarity, all that sort of stuff. I do that quite a few times, but sometimes with some things, especially textbooks, cough, cough, almost only textbooks, I will do the race to the bottom just because I want to make sure that these things move. And in addition to pricing these books lower than everyone else, I normally also do the uh, promotion, actually. I think I have promotion uh, promoted listings on all of my books right now, but I normally do that as well just to make sure that people see them, to make sure that they move, that sort of thing, because as I said already, textbooks, guys, if you don't sell them lickety split, you might sit on them until Jesus comes back. Some of these books, guys, it's it has to be read, has to be bought, has to be sold right when everyone is doing it or else you're no, never going to do it because let's face it, this book right here on the bottom might be good this year, might have been good the last five years, but they might put out a new edition next year and this one won't be worth anything. Same with all these other ones. They put Some books, they put out new editions every single year. Uh, personally, I think that is the stupidest thing in the universe. It's just a stupid money grab thing in my opinion because really uh, the world does not change in one year. The world doesn't change in one day, so you don't really need to update your textbook every single year. Um, if there are updates to fix typos, then you should give me a refund on the one that has the typos. That's what I say. Uh, I just think a lot of this stuff is stupid with a lot of textbooks. A lot, a lot, sorry, same as a lot of the other things with college stuff. But um, with that said, though, guys, final time. List your textbooks as soon as you can. I know I've said that quite a few times, but I really want to just get it through all of our thick heads, especially my thick head, because there have been so many times that I've sat on a textbook way too long and ended up uh, having it just sit until perpetuity, uh, which, of course, I, I don't have many books that I sit on for that long, but there are some that I do sit on a whole lot longer than I want, and I end up having to sell for a whole lot less than I would have been able to get otherwise. So with all that said and done, though, guys, thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I actually am going to be making a reseller rule a video on this in a few shakes, so I uh, hope that helps as well. Uh, if you guys liked this, be sure to hit the subscribe button up there. Check out one of my other videos, and I'll see you in the next one.